the fur trappers, the mountain men, and of course the Native Americans that were in the surrounding area. I'm not, I'm not Ferdo. We're all talking about Ferdo. All right, so as we're going to turn the corner here and pick you up, cabin row, I'd like for you to look down the driver's side. There is a big pink house down there that is on Barbie's dream house. That is actually Brigham Young's store farmhouse. Brigham did not live in that house, but he did entertain two very prominent people, President Ulysses S. Bear and Mark Twain. Our apple orchard is also right here, and Brigham had an apple orchard where it was said that they grew apples as big as one pound. So that's pretty much as big as your head. And it's it like, only took one so apple tracks. to make an apple pie. It's a, now we it's have a card here, drink. and when our apples are hanging low enough, they like to come down and eat the pie. I mean, eat the apple. Yeah, they like to eat the pie too if you leave it out. Over on the passenger side is our livery. This Saturday is Baby oh, Animal Day. Can you guys hear me in the back? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this Saturday is Baby Animal Day. A lot of our animals have had their little babies, and you'll be able to come and help some of them and see them. On the driver's side, this is called Cabin Row. These are original cabins. People actually live in these cabins here. Last cabin, the, the smallest one, is owned by Mary Golden Hay. Mary walked across the fence, and when she did, all ten of her toes became frostbitten. So when she entered the valley, they cut off all ten of her toes. And with the help of her husband and her father, she learned to walk again. And in that tiny cabin, she raised seven of her 13 children. On the passenger side is the John Pack home. That's where the University of Deseret began, and from there became the University of Utah. On the driver's side is a replica of the Hoover C. Kimball home. As we go further up the hill, on the driver's side is a replica of the Huntsman Hotel. It was originally located in Fillmore, Utah, and this one is only a third of the original size of the hotel. On the driver's side, as we cross Main Street, is the Manti ZCMI. This is the original building from Manti. When they took it down to bring it up here, they numbered all of the bricks so they could put them back in their proper order. On the passenger side, you will see the B.F. Johnson building, and hopefully you guys will get to visit there. This is where you learn how to make leather. I've been here before. On the driver's side, as we pass the Godby Pitts Drug Store, you'll see the cabinet shop, and there's a chair on top of that shop. That's for naughty kids who don't listen to their teacher. But I'm just kidding, we don't really do that. that because a lot of people couldn't speak here. English, and so they, they knew what they, they could get. Shop. Like here at the boot shop, there was boots out, a boot hanging here. Also, the telegraph office, they said you can always tell when a woman was working in the telegraph office. They had lace curtains in the window. 
All right, on the passenger side, the two-story red building that's called the tithing office, Mormon pioneers would give 10% of their value to the church. We're going to do a little math. Let's see if we can figure this out. If you have 10 cows, how many cows would you give at 10%? One cow. Go ahead. Shout it out. One cow. One cow. If you had ten chickens, how many chickens would One you chicken. get? One chicken. If you had ten children, how many children would you get? <laughs> wow. They didn't wow. take children. You guys are funny. Thank this is the front main tie grist mill. They didn't have stores like Great Harvest or Harmon's to get your bread. So you would grow your own corn and your own wheat, and you would bring it to the grist mill. They would grind it for you, and then you would get home. As we're going up the hill here to one of my favorite places, the Native American village. Oh, On the passenger side, you see a big brown ship. That, that is not like Pirates of the Caribbean. That is the ship Brooklyn. Oh, Some of the my immigrants goodness. that came that into like the valley did train. not walk it across the plains, train. but instead they took train. the ships down around South America up to California That's for little kids. and then over the Sierra We're way Nevada. Too old for that, we have five native tribes in the surrounding area. You guys so think you can kids. help me name them? Just shout them out. Shoshone. Okay, we have the third largest PP in the world right here on the driver's side. The first is in China for Olympics, second is in China, and the third is right here. We invite you to come back up this summer so that you can learn of the great native culture, stories, traditions, and dance. On the passenger side is the treasure house. Utah also has a great mining history. You come up again this summer, you can go in and buy a hero, you can go gold panning and have a lot of fun up here. We're now entering into the scrub oak area. Please don't plant this at your house. It's not very attractive and it never dies. Uh, a botanist that was here a few years ago says they think some of the scrub oak was here for 200 years. So when the pioneers came down the valley up that canyon, right up there, Immigration Canyon, some of this scrub oak had to be here when they came in. On the passenger side, you see the great brick building sitting back there. That is an, that's another original building. That is Mary Fielding Smith's home. Now, girls, you're not going to like this story. Because Mary's husband, Hiram, was killed back in Carthage, Illinois, and she wanted to come west with the pioneers, and they said to her, well, Mary, you don't have a husband, so we don't think you should come. Yeah, I know. In 2022, we would have kept them, right? Yeah. Well, guess what Mary said? She said, all seven of my kids and I are coming, and we'll beat you into the valley. <laughs> Well, they tried to sabotage Mary. They set her oxen loose, but you know what? She found her oxen, and she beat them in the valley by four hours. <laughs> On the driver's side is a white obelisk sitting right there. That is the spot where historians believe Brigham Young was when he said this is the right place to drive on. On the passenger side is the Children's Memorial. This was dedicated in 2019. This is for the children. Sometimes you know, the children feel like they're important, but you are very important. And unfortunately, on these granite stones down here, we have over 550 names of pioneer children who died coming across the plain. So we invite you to come back and look walk through this capital. Okay, you've got just a few minutes with me, but girls, I'm going to tell you this case for you. Even though I said girls are the smartest boys and they needed to be educated the same huh? way. Smart? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now, boys. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, boys. If you, don't, if you have an attitude that girls aren't smart on Friday night, y'all going to be sitting at home. But in this hospital was founded and run by all women physicians. One of my most favorite is Martha Hughes Cannon. She was the first woman elected as a state senator, and she beat the same person twice. Guess who she beat? Oh, you guys know husband. Husband. Her yeah, husband, husband, Angus Cannon. So you can imagine what dinners were like at their house. 
You guys are great. We hope you have a wonderful time here. We ask that you exit on the passenger side of the train. And if you need any help where you're going, let me know and I'll help you get there.